Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will talk about RLC series circuit. Friends, uh, before going through the details of RLC series circuit, we should know some basic things about resistance, capacitor, and inductors. So, I have already made videos regarding the AC through pure RL and C as well as uh, AC through RL and RC series circuit. You can watch this video, the link is given in the description. So, uh, in the resistance, basically there is no effect of frequency on resistance. So, the voltage and current are always in phase in resistance. It means that there is no phase difference between voltage and current and therefore, the waveform for the voltage and current will look like this. This is the current which is indicated here and this is the voltage. You can see that this voltage and current are in phase. It means that they are having, they are achieving their zero value, maximum value and minimum value at the same interval of time. The phasor diagram will look like this. Here, this is the current and voltage are in phase. It means that there is no phase difference. That is voltage and current will overlap just like this. So, this is the voltage across resistance and this is the current flowing through the resistance. Now, next about the inductor. So, uh, there is the effect of frequency on the impedance of the inductor and therefore, and it actually increases with respect to frequency. So, uh, in case of inductor here, the voltage in the inductor leads the current by 90 degree. So, if this is our current that is having equation I m sin omega t, then voltage here leads by 90 degree. The lead is indicated by plus sign. So, the voltage will be V m sin omega t plus 90 degree and lead means it is achieving its maximum, minimum and zero value before current. So, this waveform will look like this. Here, if the current is referenced, then it will be on x axis and the voltage is leading by 90 degree. So, lead is indicated in uh, phasor diagram with anti clockwise direction and in anti clockwise 90 degree, it is voltage across inductor. Alternatively, the same word, uh, same uh, sentence can be written as in inductor current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. So, here if voltage is the reference like this, the current will lag by 90 degree, it is the lag is indicated in clockwise direction. Now, let us talk about the capacitor. Here also there is effect on the impedance of a capacitor with frequency and it decreases as frequency increases. In capacitor, current leads the voltage by 90 degree. So, so the waveform can be drawn like this. If this is the voltage which is having equation V m sin omega t, then current is leading. Current is leading by 90 degree. Therefore, it is I m sin omega t plus 90 degree. Plus indicates the lead and 90 degree is the lead of this current. So, current is achieving its maximum, minimum and zero value before voltage. The wave, uh, the phasor diagram can be drawn here like this. Here we see is the reference and current is leading. Current lead is indicated in anti-clockwise direction just like this. And if the current is reference, that is uh, we can say that voltage in the conductor uh, in a capacitor lags behind the capacitor current by 90 degrees. So, if current is the reference, then voltage here lags by 90 degree like this. Okay, We will use all this basic knowledge in our circuit and here is our circuit. This is the RLC series circuit. The supply voltage V equals to V m sin omega t is applied and uh, voltage across resistance is V r, voltage across inductor is V l and voltage across capacitor is V c. It is a series circuit, so current I is flowing through the circuit and when switch is closed, the overall resultant will depend on the value of impedance of L and C. 
and therefore overall circuit operation will will be affected by the value of inductor and capacitor itself now uh, in series circuit current is uh, current will remain same so we will consider current as a reference in our phasor diagram so this is the current which is reference reference is always taken on the horizontal axis that is on x axis so uh, in case of resistance voltage and current are in phase therefore the voltage for resistance that is vr can be drawn like this now in inductor voltage leads the current by 90 degree lead is indicated in anti clockwise direction so vl will look like this and we see that is the voltage in capacitor it lags the current by 90 degree so this is the phasor diagram for the rlc series circuit but actually uh, the resultant voltage that is total voltage vt or we can say that terminal voltage vt will depend on the value of vl and vc so overall uh, the magnitude of vl and vc will affect the uh, resultant voltage and vl and vc will depend on the impedance uh, of the inductor and a capacitor <coughs> so uh, we can say that the value of vl and vc is depend on uh, is depending on xl and xc that is inductive reactance and capacitive reactance respectively more the value of xl more will be the voltage across it and so on uh, so there are three different cases when uh, xl may be greater than xc like this or xc may be greater than xl or xl equals to xc so depending on three different cases the behavior of the circuit will change we will see them one by one the first one is when xl is greater than xc here you can see that uh, the voltage across inductor will be more and voltage across capacitor will be less that is vl is greater than vc so this diagram will look like this and uh, as these two voltages are uh, up exactly opposite to each other vl minus vc will be there as a resultant voltage and you can see that uh, vl is greater so overall the circuit will be inductive and resistance is already there so the reg uh, this circuit will works as a rl series circuit if i equals to im sin omega t is our reference current which can be drawn like this the vr will be in phase with it and overall the voltage that is vl minus vc is leading by 90 degree just like this here if we drop our parallel lines to them and if we join uh, this resultant voltage like this we will get v as this one this is our voltage that is the overall voltage and here this phase angle is phi that is the voltage between uh, phase angle between current and voltage and therefore voltage equation can be written as v equals to vm sin omega t here this plus sign indicates that the voltage is leading the current by some angle phi so if you want to draw the waveform then i is reference here that is current and voltage is leading lead will be shown like this which will achieve its zero maximum and minimum value before current so this is the voltage waveform and uh, now if this vl minus vc voltage is shifted here we will get diagram like this and all the sides are of voltage therefore this triangle is known as voltage triangle and if we divide this voltage by current then we will get impedance triangle like this it is it will have resistance impedance and uh, reactance as their sides here this is the phase angle we should be noted here this phi will remain the same between voltage and current so uh, in uh, second case xc is greater than xl that is vc is greater than vl so here you can see in the diagram that 
vl is small and vc is greater so overall the effect will be capacitive and this circuit will works as a rc series circuit if current is our reference i equals to im so in omega t then it can be drawn like this and here the uh, vl minus vc will be as vc is greater it will be on the negative side just like this that is vl minus vc and here if we draw parallel lines and join them then we will get v as a resultant voltage which is shown here now you can see that this there is also a phase angle phi between voltage and current and as it is in clockwise direction it is nothing but a lag and therefore the equation for voltage will be v equals to vm sin omega t minus phi here minus sign will indicate is indicating the lag between voltage and current now let us draw the waveform for that and i equals to im sin omega t this is our reference that is current and uh, definitely voltage is lagging lagging means it is achieving its maximum minimum and zero value after current so this is the waveform for the voltage now if we shift this line to this part then we will get a voltage triangle and if we divide this voltage by current then we will get the impedance triangle the third case is that when xl is equals to x that is voltage across inductor and capacitor are same you can see that this is voltage vl and vc now these are having same magnitude if these are same magnitude but as their directions are opposite to each other they will cancel each other that is vl minus vc is equals to zero and therefore this circuit will be purely resistive circuit and in a purely resistive circuit if i is equals to im sin omega t then this is i and resistive circuit overall voltage that is voltage across resistor will exist and it is equals to v and you can see that there is no phase difference so the equation for voltage will be vm sin omega t and if you want to draw the diagram then this is the current and this is the waveform for the voltage and we can say that the, uh, these two are in phase because there is no phase and uh, phase difference between voltage and current now let us talk about the impedance and impedance triangle these 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 are the triangles which have already drawn for rl circuit and rc circuit respectively so this is the impedance triangle and here this is the angle phase phi the z the value of z that is impedance that is the total resistance of the circuit can be calculated by using pythagoras theorem and it is z equals to under root r square plus xl minus xc square and the unit for z is ohm because it is nothing but the total resistance of the circuit and the phase angle can be calculated by using cos phi equals to r by z formula and tan phi equals to xl minus xc upon resistance so phi is equals to cos inverse r by z or phi is equals to tan inverse xl minus xc upon r and uh, phi that is nothing but the phase angle between voltage and current in this way we can uh, we have already studied the rlc series circuit so in case of a uh, third case that is if xl is equals to xc if xl equals to xc we can say that z is equals to r that is overall circuit is totally resistive because xl minus xc is equals to zero so z is equal to under root r square and therefore z will be equals to r thank you